and welcome to the final part of Until Dawn. Why scream? Oh, what? What? No, blah? <laughs> oh, we didn't finish chapter 20 I know. in the last video. I know. So, after 20 minutes of fucking this wall... <laughs> And stare, and someone's getting a good look at that booty, but it wasn't us. Oh. Look at that leg. Yeah, just fucking quick time. Quick. Fuck. Do the most. Well, they are called quick time events. Yeah. Um, if you fuck up, do you just end up in heaven and repeat the entire thing, or do you actually die? Uh, you just have to repeat everything. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Sam actually cannot die until uh, the very end. She gets back to the cabin here. Spoilers. Yeah, it's slight spoilers, but she can't die until then. Yeah. Well, I think it'd be kind of bullshit if, like, your first few seconds back into the control of a character ends up with their death. Yeah, I don't know. Every character can die up to this point except for her. Also, that is like a man, like a lo lotus. Yeah, no lotus. Or dragonfly. Dragonfly, that's that's the word. Danger. So what you said the dangers are like possible threats? Yes. So she could die coming up. Oh. <sighs> you know it's a good thing that they only sense motion because they'd definitely be able to follow your fucking tracks. Yeah. I mean they'd be able to see that, but I mean they won't know where you are. Oh boy, more water. She's gonna fucking be dead of hypothermia. Yeah, seriously. Like, this has to be painful. She might have thoughts. She might have to have some of her fucking toes in it, Oh god, that's... I, I don't want to think about that. Well, if anything, uh, your feet get the least amount of blood flow, so therefore your feet are the first to go. Yeah, that's true. The fucking video? Oh, there it is. No, I don't want to watch that. Thank you. Was oh, you just gonna show me all of them? Okay, never mind. Look at that shiny butt. Oh, she, she, she also all wet, so. Oh, I'm coming over. <laughs> the only thing that makes this worse is she had to walk in the snow and barefoot. Oh, my God. You know, I realize this game is kind of a lot like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Because it's in a snowy setting, you can play it on Halloween or Christmas. You can. Uh, well, we could play. Actually, no, we could play this because it's set in February. We could play this for uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, GG. Until, until dawn for my birthday. <laughs> We're on this only before. only in that only in that run, all the characters die. <laughs> Just for Justin. <laughs> for everyone. Lives except for Emily. That's a special treat. Yeah. It's like we have specific runs. Everyone lives, everyone dies, or Emily dies. Jump it. What was that? What was our random tank I don't know. Tank hill. So many like flammable <laughs> devices. Oh god. Are we, are we back to where we started? Yeah, we're back to the lodge. No, no, oh, God. it could be behind us. Oh, oh, Jesus, Mike. Mike, you're not scare me, me like that. Oh, God. Yeah, he looks like shit. Terrible. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's gonna look worse if we stay out here. Come on. I'm pretty sure anyone would after the night he had. He's gone through the wow. house shit, really. Yeah, really. Chris and Ashley overall had it easy. Jessica, actually, well, Jessica got, like, fucking eaten. And then Almost. she fell down to the mines, but then she was, like, knocked out for, like, eons. I got him. Uh, what, what Emily, like, Matt, Matt what like, like, Matt has suffered the least amount of damage? Yeah, Matt's really gone through the least amount. Minus, maybe, Jessica. I mean, she went through more damage, way more damage than him, but he's... Definitely, like, done a lot less. I love how... I love how Mike turns off the lights, like, just to say, no, there are no lights on allowed in this game. Are we the, really? There is not a single point in this game where there is a fucking light source that is not a flashlight or a candle. Yeah, really. Well, it's like, you have to wonder, if they only react to motion, 
good light and really fuck you over? Well, I, I don't know why he wouldn't have the lights on, because they only hunt at night. Hmm. It's kind of... Is, is that a thing? Yeah, that's what uh, huh. the stranger said. I'm trying not to think about it. Because he was talking about him to, with Chris, and one of the things he said was... Oh, by the way, oh, oh Christ. Speaking of, speaking of the devil. These characters are these. Oh, look. All of the other characters. Oh, God. Oh, Fuck you. You're not allowed I don't understand why you wouldn't shut the door. Not even the safe room is safe. Not even the safe room is safe. Damn it, Em. You let him in. Uh, I'm assuming running gets her fucked over. Well, I mean, no. It's her death comes later. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's why he's just standing there. Don't move. But I'm breathing, aren't I? That's a muscle. My heart's pumping. That's a muscle. Oops. So, it's actually not this one. All the don't moves after this can kill Sam. Yeah. Not that one. All of them afterwards. Ah, oh, shit. Now, I locked that door for a reason. You guys are not invited to my tea party. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Wait, how do they talk to each other and other monsters? I mean, to other people. Fuck it. Oh, no, they fucking hate each other. They don't give a shit. Damn. This, this is Hannah. That one, those are all the miners. The miners seem to, like, not care. I sense an explosion. Aha. Uh -huh. Mikey Boy. Mikey Boy gets an idea. Well, he... Mikey thinks I'm on the same level as I do, Huh, it's almost like flicking on the switch was a plot point. It's a good thing they both had these this exact idea as soon as, like at the same time. Damn. Damn. Jesus fuck. Oh, they just have they just have no regard for anyone. So you can Sam can die after all this point. So anybody will die if you fail or don't move. Well, that's specifically Sam. Well, I don't know about anyone else. I'm surprised he didn't cut his hand. So Chris yeah. is out. Chris is safe. Also, another fun thing. Oh shit! If you run for the switch right now, everyone inside will burn hey. like so. So go extra crispy. Also, this is to kill, like, practically everybody else. Did. Yeah, you can kill it practically everyone else. So the, the only person, if he's still alive, would be Chris. So. It's a good thing they can't sense breathing. Yeah. It's, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> also, any, don't any save Mike and you run for the switch. Mike will obviously die. You want to hide. You don't want to You don't want to hit the switch early. Emily, Emily, whatever you do, um, don't not be the meat shield. Okay. You here? Can you please go away? You can smell from it. Oh, okay. Thanks for that. I don't know how she's not fucking terrified out of her mind right now. Well, because the alternative is being eaten. Yeah. True. Hide? Wait, you have to you have to play uh, slow and steady. Yeah, play slow and steady, and yeah. then Mikey Boy gets out. Once Mikey Boy's out, you know everyone else. Everyone's out. Wait, it, it, if you run, uh, Mike gets munched. Yeah. Or exploded. You hit the switch too early, obviously. Hi. Hi. Uh, yes. Yes. I don't have time for the word of Jesus Christ. Boy, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Go away, please. Okay, I don't have my shot. This is fun. Oh, shit. Run, Sam, run. Boop. You know, I'm surprised there's not a quick time event for the light switch. Right. Yeah, that's, that's the most. That's like the only part of the game where the. Uh, Watch it. Definitely. It's alright. It's okay. 
it was going to happen anyway. So that that butterfly effect tells you like whether or not how fucked everybody else is. Yep. Zero out of ten, you didn't actually put the song in the video. Shut up. <laughs> oh hey, look, you guys are perfect timing. You didn't put the song in your video either. Yeah, but you said you were going to do it for this one. Alright, I didn't say I was going to do it. Ah. You know, this entire game could have been avoided if you just played the, the song song. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, they all lived. I got a ah. copy. Four dar daughters oh. of darkness, the, the girls lived. No. Platinum! Platinum! Yeah, yeah, Yay, Landon, good job. Hey, thank you. Anyway... So, depending on who lives, you actually get police reports for those characters. So, here's some of your choices actually matter. You know, from the reflection, it almost looks like Chris is blind in one eye. I know, yeah. So, they're like trying to pin it on Chris for the guy's death. Because, you know, spooky monsters can't be a real thing. I watched him die. So apparently they don't believe that the Wendigos are a thing? Oh god, that sucks. So, yeah, she thinks she heard Jessica down there. Also, this is fun. We should have fucking shot He almost shot me, the prick! Fuck you! If you kill Emily, Mike will go on the defensive saying he thought she would turn into one, and that's why he did it. I tried to do something. So that's pretty much why the game doesn't have a plot if you could save, uh, what was it, Bethany? Mm. Because then there is no, like, when it goes. Yeah, these credits are really slow. Yeah. Because you're having, Nick, like... Nick Dixon. Well, because, you know, it, it, it's like Metal Gear. You always have, like, a last conversation, like, either after or during the credits. So I'm assuming Josh is in a mental ward? Uh, no. We'll, we'll see. Uh, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Josh is still technically down there on the mines. He got dragged away. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what happened. You can talk to people. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So yeah, because I hit Josh, there's this scene. I had to stop him. I thought he said he was tied up. Yeah, but Okay, happy. Wait, that that's the thing where you can choose whether or not to hit him? Yeah, when I hit him with the plank. But you don't knock him out. Yeah. He was trying to fuck with our heads. Why is so Chris no one... this shit? I and because I stabbed I stabbed I Josh. No, I swear I didn't know. Did he know? Who did oh, is that the one where uh I, I stabbed the maniac? But this is that's the one where you got the option of sticking like, it. Yeah. Josh had all the saws and the gun and oh my god. You bringing in meat brain next? Gonna kick him around a bit for me? I'm sorry. This is why no one likes you anymore. Muscle brawn, Matt, the incredible sulk. Is there something we need to know? Oh, no, nothing important except, um, you know, how he basically left me to die up on a... You know, Emily's the only one that behaves like this. Douche novel. God, douche novel. You should be thankful to be alive, you fucking bitch. Oh. God, Jess just looks <sighs> fucked up. I feel bad. She's like, she, I, she, I think she got the most stuff there. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I think she's also kind of losing it. So this is the last one. Oh. I don't care if you believe me or not. Doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. Not give anything to unsee it. Oh. So you can skip the rest of the credits, but we're gonna play it through. 
because, alright, what we do? We try hitting the extra. Oh, that's not the right song. Oh. Alright, so, a couple things. Well, obviously, characters have different deaths. So, yep. um, if a character dies, obviously, they don't show up during that. And, um, I think you can technically have a Josh Only Lives run. Wow. <laughs> really? That's interesting. Technically, you can have Matt and Jess die, so you won't have the mind section, obviously. They don't really yeah. affect too much, overall. Emily can die in the grinder or get shot. Or uh, get punched. Chris can get left outside or can get his head ripped off. Um, Ashley can get her head ripped off. Um, obviously, all, uh, most of the characters that were in the cabin can get ex like, killed during that. If Mike is the last person alive in the cabin, he will sacrifice himself. So if Sam dies, Mike will kill himself. So I think you can technically have a Josh is the last person, like the only person alive run. Hmm. You, you'd have to fucking plan that shit ahead of time. You would have to really work it. A lot of it comes down to that last section. You can kill off most of the characters beforehand. No, okay, here's a, here's a bit of a like, conundrum for you. If you had the choice to be rid of Emily, but you had to sacrifice most of the main cast, um, wouldn't you rather prefer to be left alive just to kill Emily? Would I prefer? Well, you're kind of kind of forced to keep Sam for most of it. Yeah. yeah but that's fine. Sam's cool. Oh, hey, it's Justin Bailey. Justin Bailey. Oh. Huh. Like met like the fucking Metroid code. Oh. But uh, let me see. If I if I had to kill people off, I mean, what is it would be like easier just to say who my favorite characters are. Sam and Mike. Sam and Mike. Uh, I do like Jessica. She's like, she's not like top tier. She's like second tier. She's got a great foot. <laughs> um, um, I also do actually like Doctor Hill. I really like him because he's like. Is it safe? Is it safe to say that everyone is better than Emily? Everyone's yes. better than Emily. That's easy. <laughs> easy. I have to say, um, I like this game story. Well, I mean, it's cheesy like B movie shit, but. I guess it's okay in a, in a weird way. Um, I definitely like this more than fucking the other two games. But then again, I mean, oh, not not the, the not to say that they're by the same developers, but honestly, I think this would float a lot better. I played either Heavy Rain or Beyond Two Souls, so. Well, I mean, Beyond Two Souls sucks dick. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure everyone can agree on that one. Yeah. I think I think I said this in the LP already. I think Heavy Rain has a slightly better story, honestly. I think I just don't care for it because I'm not really into uh uh police dramas. They've never been my thing. Hmm. That's essentially what that game is, it's a police drama that you've probably seen on T V. Um Kind of. It's a, it's a police drama from the perspective of multiple characters. Yeah. Just has a setting he likes more. Horror, death. It was fun. And I don't know what the fuck kind of cracks someone smoking for Beyond Two Souls. It's like she's like some like military soldier slash regular girl slash apparently some sort of psychic that can see some spooky rape thing. Spooky rave. I said wraith. Oh, I'll take so a spooky like, rave as well. I I feel Beyond Two Souls was start like they started writing a story for it, and then um, it kind of like escalated to like ridiculous proportions, and then finally some guy just came in and said, "You know what we need? Ghosts." <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. Like, I I feel like the development of that fucking story was a mess. Uh, at the get-go. Uh, did, did anyone really expect that game to be good, though? 
Um, well, anyone who might have enjoyed Heavy Rain might have. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. That's about it. They're remastering both those games for PS4. Oh, God. I think they're a combo pack. Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's like half the game I don't want. <laughs> like, because apparently, like, a lot of, like, the choices that you make in Beyond Two Souls don't really matter because you'll apparently get the same result no matter what. Yeah, that is not how you do multiple choice scenarios. No. Yeah. This is actually just multiple choice. I mean, yeah, a lot of it's still pretty driven. You can't, like, obviously not every choice, like, is going to be life or death every single time. But, yeah. I mean, what can you do? It, the story plays out pretty much the same way. So even if, like, there's subtle changes, and, I mean, you can obviously miss giant chunks of section of the game. If you, uh, like, kill someone off, like I said, there's multiple sections where you can also, like, co- totally, like, do something different as well. So... Just... I think your biggest, yeah, your biggest punishment for losing a character is the collectibles. Yeah, if you're going for a full, like, all items run, it's it's preferred that you do it in an Everyone Lives run, honestly. Because that way you won't ever, like, you'll never miss an item. You know what I'm waiting for now? Like, because uh, Telltale's already did, like, Bills of the Borderlands? Um... I'm expecting a Telltale game about Star Wars. That'd be cool. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. I don't know what it would be about. I, I feel like it'd be about, like, uh, some rebel group. Uh, like, if, well, especially since Episode 7 is coming, so they're probably going to stick to the Black and Civil War. Um, they did officially announce... Um, uh, like a spinoff for Until Dawn. It's, uh, like, it's not a sequel, but it's... It's essentially all... Dead Space Extraction. Yeah, it really is. It's uh, Until Dawn Rush of Blood. Unfortunately, it's going to be a PlayStation VR game, which means you have to have, like, the Project Morpheus, like... Yeah, so there's, there's nothing better about uh, having new hardware than forcing on people who don't want it. Yeah, no. So, I mean, unfortunately, that's something I'll probably never do unless you can play the game without it. So, honestly, I actually like this game for a game I got yeah. for free. <laughs> I mean, okay. well, I Better than Batman? Uh, yeah, I, I think I enjoyed it more than Batman. Well, like... I think there's a Morpheus version of uh, Alien Isolation. Good the fuck luck with that shit. Um, also, I've seen the gameplay feeds of uh, Morpheus playing uh, Alien Isolation. Uh, someone didn't take fucking VR into account because uh, you can tell it's shoehorned because a lot of the animations that play, like if you're getting killed or just doing random shit, um, if you look on the sides, it's, um, the camera's rounded, because it's like your eyes, it's not like a, like a screen. You can see massive amounts of, like, fucking clipping, or just, like, animations, like, looking all fucked up, or things just popping in, because it wasn't meant for that. So, it's like, this shit is being shoehorned in, when it's clearly not fucking ready for, uh, uh, our games today yet. I don't know. I don't know what to feel about it. So I love how for special thanks they go they say they're fuck thanking every single fucking branch of Sony. Yes. Yeah. Like thanks Sony Computer Entertainment Japan Asia. Japan Asia Asia. Home. And then thanks Japan Sony. Asia Korea. Yeah. Because it goes into every single fucking. Good lord. Yeah. I want to see if Telltale does do a uh, Star Wars uh, game. Uh, I won't be happy unless there's a point where uh, you can hijack an at and fuck people up with it. <laughs> God damn, what was the budget for this game? Probably a lot, because they had, like, fucking... They had a bunch of actually, like, high-end... Oh, oh, story. Oh. Story. 
So, oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Josh sees what, what? somebody. Oh. So, regardless if everyone lives or not, he still has meat to eat down the lines. He's got the stranger to eat. Oh, man. Are those the cops or something? Yeah, those are the guys that are, like, looking down there. Oh, gross. Well, you could tell he only, like, just transformed. Yeah, he's just transforming. Alright, that was Until Dawn, guys. Uh, hope you enjoy the end of this Spookfest video. Um, stay tuned for the end of Resident Evil. It's coming up soon. Uh, as Tomorrow. always, like, subscribe, comment, all that garbage that no one ever does. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see you guys when we pick back up with normal programming.